Hey what's up guys, Lovely here and welcome back to another video. Uh, in today's video we're going to be talking about SimHub. Recently I was able to upgrade my phone, managed to get myself a little nice little Note 20 Ultra. Um, humble brag, uh, but it's expensive. Um, and that left me with a spare phone, which you can just about see here. Uh, and what I've decided to do with that is turn it into a little dashboard. And using SimHub, we can do that. I'm going to show you how. Firstly, you want to go to this website here, simhub.dash, simhub.dash, no, simhub-dash.com, link in the description, uh, not affiliated with them in any way, just, you know, wanted to show it off a little bit. You press the download simhub now, and then the download. Really, really simple, really simple. Um, set it up as you would normally, and what you'll be opened with is this. So this here is the simhub dash program. Wow, my brain really, really died there. Uh, there are two versions of it. You can get the free version, which um, is basically quite limited. Um, there's a few things you can't do, a few things you can do. Um, that makes sense. Uh, and also limits the refresh rate on the screen to 10 frames a second, which, I mean, you get the gist, but it's not, it's not got everything on it. The upgraded version gives you 60 FPS on the screens and uh, all, all of the features, basically. Um, so yeah, I am currently setting it up to iRacing and then you've got the, the config and everything so you don't have to do anything for it. Car settings, all the stuff, Dash Studio, you get a bunch of different dashboards. I like the uh, the Bosch DDU8, really nice screen that gives you a lot of information. Uh, but you can pretty much pick anything and or I believe you can make ones as well. Anyway, so let's go to how we set it up. So let's go with that one, I want to start it. I want to start it on a phone or tablet. Let's do that. So you can use this URL here as well to um, upload it. I mean, I don't know if it's specific to me, um, but I've blurred it anyway, so you can't see it. But there will be a, um, a URL uh, here. It's basically a, um, an IP address. Uh, so you type that into your phone, or you can scan the QR code on here as well. Um, I'm going to blur both of them, but you can see it's a QR code, and that's a uh, IP address effectively. Um, so then what you'd want to do is you would want to come to your phone and you'd want to go to I've downloaded the SimHub app. Uh, when you open it for the first time you will get the option to download the SimHub app. I would suggest doing it. So basically what's happened here is it's automatically logged me on but basically what you want to do is you want to use either that uh, IP address or the QR code to log in to the app uh, and or the uh, just the website in general that it links you to. Uh, it'll bring you basically to this page here um, and that is your phone then linked to SimHub. Um, you'd want to basically be on the same Wi-Fi network to be able to make that work because that's how the data gets transmitted. Um, obviously, if you're not um, if you've not got the best internet, then this probably might suck up just a little bit of that. Here you can see that we've got my last used and all the other ones on here. Uh, you can pretty much choose any of these. Uh, some of these are locked, I believe, um, on the free version, I think. Um, I didn't really play around with the free version that much. I think I just got the the, um, the paid version. It's only five euros or something. Five euros. You get to pick your own price of what you pay, and I paid five euros for it. Um, so yeah, let's pick the Bosch DDU DDU8. And as you can see, it's got not applicable on anything because we're not synced into a game. So let's launch iRacing really quickly. Right, as you can see, as we're loading in. Uh, let's put it on this screen really quickly. As we were loading in, you could see that it adjusted automatically. Right, so as you can see, we're in the car. And the dash updates really responsively. All right, so let's do a lap or two. And you can see pit limiter on, pit limiter off. A lot of information on here that is really, really handy. No gloves, um, just testing this out just to show you quickly. But as you can see, you've got tyre temperatures. I haven't driven this car in a while, actually. Uh, tyre temperatures and uh, wear and all that information. You've got lap position, lap time, speed, uh, rev light gauge. Uh, that's just on this screen as well. Um, and you've got like fuel, uh, time gain, time lost, last lap, ABS settings. Also, you've got your bias, which is really handy. Um, because I've found out recently that uh, adjusting your brake bias mid-lap is actually really beneficial. Who knew? Who knew? Um, 
so you can see what your brake bias is actually set to which is also really 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 handy uh, your traction control settings all these other options ABS um, and me just driving really really slowly yeah in the bottom left I don't know if you can just about see it you can see uh, obviously my throttle uh, brake and clutch trace just about see it there but the best thing about these ones are you get uh, multiple different screens on some of these uh, some of them are just straight up dashboards um, what you see is what you get and some of them you also get different screens like this uh, with the, just a swipe on the touch screen uh, you have obviously the driver head driver behind um, to try and get the steering wheel out of the way hang on oh, drifting crashing that's fine all right, now I can show you. So you've got the driver head, obviously lap position, lap time, best lap. And then you've got another screen, you've got uh, previous versus last. So you've got a fair few previous laps. You've got your all-time best lap, uh, which will store it for you. Uh, this one, I believe. Oh, please do a valid time lap. Here we go. So as you can see, I've just done a, a timed lap. And you can see we've got a track map now that is showing us the track and I'm not sure I haven't really experimented with it fully yet to figure out what the actual uses of this are um, I'm assuming not great but you could uh, you can see obviously the game last time last see it's pretty good for tracking actually it's got all the telemetry that you would take from um, from the game and just put it into a track map which is really really cool but yeah so you've got that screen as well uh, let's pull over a little bit and have a look at the rest of the screens there we go so we've got that screen, and then you go over here, and then you've got the sectors. Yeah, so the sector screen compared to your uh, lap times, the lap, best lap, and everything. Uh, and then uh, a really simple gear indicator. This is just the Bosch one I'm showing you right now, um, obviously. Again, with a track map uh, and a delta uh, split bar. And then back to the first screen. So I think uh, some of these are actually bugged, the uh, the, the uh, wear, tire wear, uh, and tire temperatures. I think that some of them are bugged. Uh, not always 100% working, but I think if we go back, we might. Yeah, now, now you can see them. Um, I don't know if it updates on uh, like tire uh, on tire on on the lap or something. Um, not entirely certain, um, but yeah, they do update eventually. So let's have a look at some other ones actually. Um, we'll go back. That's a reload. We'll go back. Let's have a look at the. How about the 599 Ferrari Clash? And as you can see... Same kind of information. There we go. So we've got brake temps, lap times, wattage, the last lap, tyre temps. We've got just a straight up track map. Quite handy if you want to learn the track as well. Do a couple of laps, you can figure out where you're coming up to. And then moving across, you just go back to this screen. But yeah, it tells you on some of these where what ones you've got, what screen you're on, and everything. So tire temperatures is also going to be really, really handy. Uh, fuel consumption is a really nice one to look at uh, if you're trying to figure out how many laps you need, um, or how many, how much fuel you need for the laps remaining. You can figure out well, I'm doing this amount of lap uh, on average. I've got four laps left, or whatever. How many laps you got? You just times that by however many laps you got. And yeah, that's pretty simple. And you got system info, you can actually see what your computer's doing. Um, which is quite handy. Got a computer that overheats a lot. Other than that, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm going to keep with the Bosch dub. I'm going to call it the Bosch dub. Uh, but yeah, that is SimHub. Really simple, really quick to set up. Um, I was expecting it to be a little bit of a hassle trying to get the network to sync together. Nope, just scan the QR code and you're in. Um, so yeah, that was that. Pretty simple, huh? <laughs> um, yeah, when I, like I said, when I first uh, was thinking about doing this, I, I was like, oh, it's going to take a lot of time, it's going to be a lot of effort to try and set this up. But no, it was, it was really quick and really simple to set up. Um, quite surprised with it, to be honest. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, give it a like. If you really like, subscribe and play with that notification bell to be notified whenever I upload, whenever I upload. And, uh, and yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I'll see you in another video. All right. Cheers, guys.